nerdy, shy Harry Potter fan and who lived in the back of beyond, aka Ireland, when <laughs> I flew to London and I auditioned for the part of Luna and I got the role and it was a dream come true and all that. And granted, that was very cool and sometimes even I still can't believe it happened. But, um, but today I want to tell you about uh, another dream I've held, to, held on to for even longer than the Luna dream. A dream that, despite my hardest and best efforts, will never come to manifestation and that, nonetheless, I cannot help but spend hours pondering over. It's my long-held, completely impractical dream to become a cat. <laughs> <laughs> that sticky question, what will I be when I grow up? <laughs> and I attribute it to a combination of good parenting, whereby my parents encouraged us and inspired us to pursue what we love, uh, growing up in an animal loving household where the cat members of the family vastly outnumber the human members, <laughs> and also a love of the 90s animated kids show, the Richard Scarry's Busy Town. <laughs> interpretation of one specific, specific episode. Um, for those of you who missed it, it was just your classic, colorful, educational, morally correct kids TV show, except it was talking animals, which made it a hundred times more amazing. <laughs> and uh, there was this one episode where all the kid bunnies and the kid owls and the kid cats in school, they sing a song about how they can be anything they want to be. And, and I love this episode. I watched it over and over to the point where I still find myself humming the song from time to time as a sort of subconscious positive reinforcement when I'm doing something really difficult. But the thing is, I do kind of hold this episode and Mr. Richard Scarry personally responsible for a tragically misled belief that has haunted me to this day. And because somewhere along the colors and the smiles and, and the cat green grocers serving the bunny housewives and the lion doctors tending to poorly mice, my boundless five-year-old's imagination got confused and it took the, wor the words of the homely looking bear teacher telling me that I could be anything I wanted to be, very literally, mm -hmm. and took this episode as, as evidence that I could indeed, if I worked really hard and I stayed really busy, I could eventually become a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it was, it was a fond and whimsical aspiration back then, and, but I truly believe a cat encapsulated everything I wanted to 